Mad Alliance and anyone watching, how's life going for you? This is Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. Welcome to the video. So, well, you've already seen the title, so you know what it is. Now, and you've seen the thumbnail too. I know what it is, but I don't know what the box art or anything looks like for it. So I'm extremely excited to open this. I'm a sucker for box art and stuff too, so yeah, I'm just really excited to get into this. I've had this for almost a week now. It's just been sitting here. So yeah, I'm I'm ready to look. We're getting straight into the video. I'm ready to see this. This is a huge box too. This is a huge box. Huge box. We'll do a holy, holy on grail style, style opening. Wait. All right. You guys ready for you? You ready for the reveal? Ah! I was trying to do a cool voice thing, but my voice is scratching. Yo! Guys, yo, 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 wait, I could possibly get the, possibly get the thumbnail. There we go. Thumbnail. Guys, yo, 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 oh my God. This is my first ever monitor. I've never had a monitor before. I've wanted a monitor for a while. Wow. Wow. A monitor. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Man, that, man, that is crazy. Let's take, yo, yo. Pretty simple, pretty simple, uh, voice cracks. Sorry about that. Pretty simplistic box art. It's still cool though. It's still cool. Uh, let me take it out so you guys can see it in all its glory. It's heavy. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna save this box. I could use this box for something. Definitely could use it for something. All right. So. Oh, it has a handle and everything. All right. Ah, that's heavy. That's heavy. Uh, ah. You see how big this is? This is crazy. Wow. This is crazy. All right. So what monitor did I get anyway? I got a BenQ. BenQ RL monitor for console eSports. I got the RL2755T specifically. Why did I get this specific kind? Wait, this could be the thumbnail. Ugh, hold up. Hold up. Ugh. I need to get it just that. Come on, cooperate so I can get a thumbnail. Ugh. Yeah, this is a thumbnail. This is a thumbnail. All right. There we go. That's the thumbnail. Wait. Yeah, that's the thumbnail. All right. So I got this specific monitor. Um, recommended to me, not personally recommended to me, but um, all right. So quick little story. Um, Elite Shot. He's a YouTuber. I Elite Shot. Um, he is my all time favorite YouTuber. He's such a huge, huge inspiration for me. And it was one of the latest monitors that he got. I think BenQ actually sent it to him. Um, but yeah, um, it's a 2017, it's the 2017 RL2755T. Um, it's the one that he uses and it looks really good. And I've looked at all the specs and stuff dozens of times. And it's 
definitely one that I like. It's like one of the best BenQ monitors you could get, I think. Um, it was 280, um, but I had the money. I've been working, um, so got the money, got it, and yeah, wow, my first ever monitor, my first ever monitor. Wow, man, man. All right, let's unbox it. This is crazy. Wow, holy, wow. Full, wow, full on display. Wow, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Oh, what's this? Stand, standy type thing. Um, a disc, just a user, user's manual. I usually don't use these. I usually learn how to use whatever it is. Uh, cables, let's just, all right, put that back, put that back. Take this off. The monitor. The mo yo yo. All right. Well, we can't actually see it yet, but all right, all right. Yo, this is gonna look so good on my desk. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit both this and my laptop on my desk though. Wow. Yo, this is almost like Christmas. My first ever gaming monitor. Wow. Wow. Yo. Woo. Man. This is. Wow. This is it, guys. Ben Q. Uh. Ben Q. RL. RL, we'll call it RL for short. Uh, yeah. BenQ RL Monitor 2017 for gaming. Wow. This is, this is big. I think it's 27 inch. I think it's a 27 inch. It was like the largest screen, BenQ screen that I saw for this um, RL series specifically. It's like the best RL series monitor you could get, I think. I'm trying to give you guys kind of a ratio comparison of exactly how big this is. There's my head. It's my head. It's a monitor. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. Uh, gaming on this? Playing games on this? Battlefield 5, Apex, Black Ops 4, games on the Switch. Man, this is going to be a blast. Wow. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's the monitor. Now, I've done reviews like this before. I did a review for a drone once. And people in the comments were leaving, who were drone fanatics, were leaving questions. Like, oh, why, did you, why didn't you explain this? Why didn't you explain that? Look. This isn't a professional, look, this isn't a professional, as you can tell, this isn't any kind of professional review unboxing video, okay? This is a guy who just wants to show something cool that he got, okay? This isn't any kind of professional review, but I am going to review this because, I mean, it's pretty cool. And, thank you. I'm reviewing, focus, focus. I am going to be reviewing this though. Um, so, uh, Ben Q, I'm reviewing your monitor. Maybe you want to, uh, maybe, uh, give me a sponsor. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. But no, seriously, you can actually give me a sponsor if you want to. We could, you know, I, I could, you could, a Ben Q sponsor brand dealership, you know, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to set this up now on my desk and 
I'll show you guys that when it's done. So, um, yep. I'll see you guys then. All right. So, set up. I'll give you guys a better look, like, once I'm completely, once everything's completely done, I'll give you a better look. But, yeah, this is pretty cool. This looks awesome on my desk. Um, just, uh, that was HDMI. So, okay, so, well, how do I just get it to, uh, let me maybe read the manual. Guys, I've got her all set up. This is actually insane. Look at that. My first ever gaming monitor. BenQ. Look at that. Look at that. So right here, on my laptop, got the HDMI hooked up. So that here, it's on display. That is crazy. Got my mouse here and I can do everything. Wow, that is crazy. Seems like pretty good response times. Wow. That is actually awesome. That is freaking awesome. Look at that. Man, that is crazy. All right, let me, uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you guys the features. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the exterior features of this monitor. So, uh, first thing, there's like, a, there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, first, oh, uh, well, what should I do first? I think you can move it up, yeah, you can move it up and down. Let me move everything out of the way. So you can move it to your preferred height that you need. That's pretty cool. And, uh, well, so you could turn it. You could turn it completely 180, but it's stopping for some reason. Maybe, maybe tap it like that. Yeah. You could turn it completely 180. So that's freaking cool. You could turn it, yeah. And you can, you can spin it. You can spin it to wherever you, yeah. This might actually help, the spinning thing might actually help with being able to have both this monitor and my laptop on the desk at the same time. Based on where I could put the bottom stand for the monitor. So that might help, uh, but yeah. You can move, you can turn it, you can, Move it up and down. You can 180 it. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I think that might be it. I know there's only three things, but that's actually a lot. That's a lot. Turning it 180, moving it up and down, and being able to rotate it. Um, there might be some things I'm just not thinking of. Oh, and also, yeah. You can do that too. Uh, that's pretty much all the exterior features. That's how the monitor looks. Looks freaking incredible. Move out of the way so you guys can just gaze upon its beauty. Man, that is amazing. Oh, chairs in the way. A little bit. There we go. That is awesome. My first ever gaming monitor. This probably isn't gonna be my final, final setup, but this is just this is just to show you guys the monitor and how it looks on my desk. So yeah, that that uh Yeah. That's cool. That is really cool. Hey, look at that guys, look at that. We got the channel. Got the channel up. That's pretty cool. You can, pretty much, I can just hook up my laptop to the monitor and pretty much just control everything on my laptop through the monitor. Wow. 
That is actually, that is, that's really freaking awesome. Um, so other external or yeah, or, uh, exterior features. So obviously power button turns it on. Um, oh wow. Okay. So there's a, there's a lot of different stuff. Uh, I have it on HDMI one right now. That's for my laptop, HDMI 2. That will be for every game console I use. Um, the, I'll mess with those probably. And, um, so this video is actually being recorded the same day I made my comeback video. But you guys aren't gonna see this video until like a week later because I want to test out the monitor. Like by that, I mean, playing it, playing games on it to test it out. But I'm not gonna do gaming videos until like a week after my comeback video. So, yeah. Um, you guys are gonna see everything in the same video. So, it doesn't really matter for you guys. I'm just saying it for me as a reference to, you know, when I'll record, when I'll record what. So, um, yeah, but um, later in this video, you're gonna see me playing some uh, games on the monitor to test it out and test out the features because it has some features and I want to test out those features and get a feel for playing on a monitor versus playing on a TV screen. So, um, yeah, all oh, this is pretty cool. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I'll probably go over once I'm actually using the monitor during a gaming session, I'll go over all these settings, but other exterior features, it has two HDMI ports, so you can plug in a laptop and a gaming system or two laptops or two gaming systems. It has two HDMI ports to plug in two things of your choice. Um, has a aux feature so you could plug in the aux so you can get the sound from the monitor into your headset that you're using if you want to do that um it has some other features that i don't even know what they're for uh let's see um dvid it has that and it has one other thing i don't know what those are for uh and those are pretty much all the exterior features yeah, I've showed you guys all the physical exterior features it can do. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. That's the monitor. Looks pretty cool. Looks really cool. All right, guys, this is it. This is awesome. I was what when before I even got a monitor, I was wondering, like, I don't have the biggest desk. So, if I ever got a monitor, would I have enough space on my one desk to be able to fit? my laptop and my monitor. And it turns out with some adjustments and positioning, there's enough room for both of them for multitasking. Got my laptop there, got my monitor there, got my mouse pad there so I can control in the center so I can control whichever the screen I'm currently using. This is amazing. This is amazing my first ever gaming monitor that is awesome BenQ RL 255T I believe I think I got that correct this is awesome so I've showed you guys the unboxing um, showed you guys all the exterior features so now uh, like I said this what you're seeing right now is recorded like a week before what you're about to see what you're about to see is some gameplay of me testing the interior features like the um, response time and the visual quality of it. It's 180p by the way, so yeah, I'm going to play some games on it to test out the um, interior features of it. So you're about to see that now. Let's go. Good work. We have taken the lead.
enemy is leading now. Don't let them win this! I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. All units on alert. Report of a kidnapping. Backup requested at port side. Please copy. Robbery in progress. Suspects are armed. Approach with caution. Officers near Devil's Shelf. Please report to the scene. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Available officers, please proceed to Bryant. Over. All units, civilians are in need of assistance. 
Houston following an accident. Officers, please converge on Longacre. And that pretty much wraps up my whole review video for the BenQ RL series 27 inch monitor. And this recording that you're seeing right now, well, basically the recording of everything in this video that you saw up until the gameplay was from three months ago in April, three months ago from when this video is actually being uploaded in July. The recording that you're seeing now is present day recording of the time that this video is uploaded and the gameplay that you saw is present day recording. The reason um, I was able to get the gameplay just now is because I needed a new laptop to be able to record, uh, well, to be able to run my Elgato at uh, 1080p 60fps to record gameplay at 1080p 60fps. So yeah, that's why this video is being uploaded way longer than I anticipated to be. But nevertheless, it's here and I showed up, hopefully was able to show everything I wanted to showcase about the internal features of this monitor in the gameplay, like uh, the 920 times 1080 resolution that the monitor has. It looks absolutely amazing being up close playing games on this monitor, uh, specifically games like you know, Battlefield 5 that used the Frostbite engine, so that game already looks amazing. And so seeing it on this monitor at a uh, 1920 times 1080 looks absolutely stunning. And lag, zero lag, excellent, incredible response time. I haven't had any issues with response time on any of the games that I've played on this monitor so far. Um, again, or I haven't spoken of it once but uh zero flickering you know sometimes where you're like especially if you have like an older tv maybe sometimes your tv's just flickering a bit especially like uh depending on what brightness you have or depending on like what time of day it is well the monitor um it has zero flickering any time of day any brightness there is zero flickering so you know reduces eye fatigue and doesn't mess you up to your gameplay so uh that's a good feature and I think I already went over in my recordings from earlier in this video before the gameplay I think I already went over all the external features um but what I currently have set up with the monitor so I have my Elgato set up to the monitor so that I can record my gameplay and then there's another HDMI port so like I can have my Elgato set up to the monitor and a, con a console hooked up to the Elgato but then um, if I want to play another console, I can also hook up that other console to the monitor itself that's not attached to the Elgato, just in case I want to play um, another console, you know, without having it attached to the Elgato and just attached to the monitor itself. So essentially, yeah, you can um, have two mo you can have either two consoles hooked up to it at the same time. You can have a console and then an Elgato hooked up to it at the same time. You can, you know do different combinations uh so good bit of options um i think that's about it as far as the external and internal features go oh and the black equalizer i don't i know it's on i don't exactly know the settings i had it on and stuff i don't really remember but it is on and basically what it does is it brightens up darker spaces a little bit you know sometimes when uh, you're playing a game and you like go in a dark room or a dark area you know and it's kind of hard to make out what things are well the black equalizer basically you know amps up the dark areas so that you can you know things that are in those areas they're more visible for you to see so that definitely helps a lot uh you know, just going into dark areas, dark rooms in games, that happens a lot. And so you want to be able to see what's in there. So the black equalizer is supposed to help with, help with that. But that really is it. External and internal. That's pretty much everything. And I've been using this monitor for about three months now, but I've really been used around the time I'm uploading this video. 
I've really been using Git a lot because uh, now that I have everything I need for my gaming videos, I've been using it a lot more and gaming a lot more on it. And it's just excellent. I absolutely love it. Like I said, all the internal features, you know, I notice them when I'm playing on this monitor. And there, like, there's a saying, it's like once you play on a monitor, when you switch from a TV to a monitor, you do not want to go back. And trust me, you do not want to go back. And this is my very first monitor I've ever had. I've wanted a monitor for, you know, years now, like uh, when I was younger and playing games. So it's awesome to finally have a monitor and I definitely will not be going back to just a standard conventional TV. Whenever I game, I'm gonna be using a, mon a monitor for now on. And I suggest to get the BenQ RL series 27 inch, just not saying you have to or anything, of course, just personal suggestion from me and I've been using it for about three months now so I have you know I've worn it in a bit and gotten experience with it and I absolutely love it it's incredible uh let me know what you guys thought of the video links for all of my social media will be down below in the description box Matt smash the like button share this video with anyone who you feel would enjoy if you are new around here and you like what you see tap the subscribe button to join the mad alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers and ding down the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. It's Joe, AK, Mad at UFC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out. And that's the video. Mad. Strong. Together. <laughs>